I'm fine. It's just a bruised shoulder. Nothing's broken. Are you sure? Just tell her I'm fine. He's fine. Well, then tell me why you got on that stupid motorbike and rode like a speed demon. I don't know. You buried your wife. It's the toughest day of your life. Hmm? Say it. What? Say it out loud. It's the toughest day of my life. That's it. That's great. You can feel the pain. Liz, you might want to go easy. I know my boy, and I know what he needs, and what you need is the cold, hard truth. You buried your wife, and you can't cope. Say it. I buried my wife, and I can't cope. That's great. Now we're away. I guess your nightmares are worse than ever. I can't sleep. But when you do nod off. Yeah, nightmares. Tell me what you see. Yes. Yeah. Oh. You need a break. Come on, you go and have a shower. We'll come back to this. Meanwhile, I will get settled in. I'm guessing you have a spare room somewhere? Of course. And tomorrow I'll sort those driving charges. Get you the best lawyer in town. Mum. Tom, this is the only way you deal with this head on. Come on now, off you go. I'll get myself something to eat. Liz. Mm hmm? He's exhausted. Yeah. Mm. So I think it's best we let him talk when he's ready about whatever Tom wants to talk about. I am not going to let him stare at the ceiling, bawling his eyes out every five minutes. No, that's not what I mean. Oh, Maeve, it's so lovely to see you again. Yes. But darling, you look exhausted too. Don't let me keep you. So she just sweeps in and takes over. Well, she is his mother. Doesn't give her the right. Have you met my mother? Oh, Leanne has got nothing on Liz. Okay, but, but Tom, he's, he's okay? Liz the evil leech. Maeve. You don't know her. Okay, look, I, I know that you've never really liked this woman, but she is she has mentally tortured him for years. I could say the same thing about Leanne. Nick, I'm serious. So am I. You're his best friend. Then I get that, but maybe right now friends aren't enough. Back off, Maeve. Yeah, maybe. Just for a couple of days. We have had a wonderful day, made huge progress. Okay. Yeah, we talked everything through, and Dr. McCaskill is no longer in the kill box. Really? Yep. Tom had transferred his hate for Tessa's hideous stepfather onto that poor surgeon, Drew. Sorted that out, didn't I? You okay with Drew now? I can see that it was irrational. I should apologise, Tom. Who do we blame? Who do we hate? The stepdad, only him. Well, aren't you amazed at how quickly he's healing? That's all I wanted. I mean, he was a broken man when I walked through that door. And look at him now. Voila. All healed. Thank you. Nothing like mummy magic. And I am the bonus package. I even do the ironing. <laughs> Don't need you to do the ironing. Oh, darling, I want to. I just want to make sure you look good for your first day back. Sorry, first day back? At work? Shortland Street. Conking people out. I'm anaesthetist. And, ah, uh, anaesthetist. Anis, anis, no. Still can't do it. No, can it's you? too hard. Um, sorry, when are you going back? Tomorrow. But your shoulder? Um, there's nothing wrong with my hands and I'm not doing any heavy lifting. <laughs> but no one expects you to work for weeks. Months. Months? Oh, doing what? Moping around, drinking, falling into misery? Oh, not on my watch. No, sir. You are going back. I'm ready. Yeah. Damn right you're ready. You make your mark. Make your money. Make your life.